Hi, my name is Nikisha. I am one of the early intervention specialists. I am here today to do a sensory activity. I try to gather things that some of us may already have readily available in our home. So today I have peanut butter, an empty toilet paper roll, ribbon, a Ziploc bag, a butter knife, or you can use a popsicle stick. Of course, I need paper towel in case I need to clean up, scissors just in case I need to cut, a bucket, and in that bucket, I have bird seed. I do know not everyone conveniently has bird seed in their house. You can always substitute Cheerios as an alternative. Um, you could crush them up maybe just a little bit and use them for what we're gonna do today. So today, you may be wondering what in the world is she gonna do with these items? We are going to make a bird feeder. So the first thing we need is to get our toilet paper roll. We need to gather our butter knife. And with that, we are just going to smooth, just, just like making a sandwich, we're gonna spread and smooth down that peanut butter on our roll of toilet paper, our empty roll of toilet paper with the butter knife. Now I do know some people have peanut butter allergies and I understand that that is definitely a safety concern. So if you happen to be one of those people or if you're unsure, if your child might be one of those people, then what I would recommend is to use any kind of peanut butter substitute you might have available. Um, there's, I want to say tahini, almond butter, um, because some people are highly allergic to peanuts. Um, there's a list of things and I can very easily attach a link to suggestions, although my assumption is that anyone who might be aware of a peanut butter allergy at this point would already have some of those substitutes readily available. Now I am using chunky peanut butter because <laughs> that's what I had readily available, but smooth goes on much easier. Now that I have my peanut butter on my, my toilet paper roll, I'm gonna get my bucket that has my bird seed inside, for those of you at home that might be looking. And I'm gonna just take my bird seed and I'm gonna sprinkle it on to that toilet paper roll of peanut butter. You could also just roll it into the bowl and let it go on that way. And once it's all nice and covered with your bird seed or your Cheerios, whichever one you have readily available, you can get your ribbon. In this case, I already pre-cut my ribbon. And you're just going to go down that middle open end of the toilet paper roll Pull it out on the other side so that it hangs kind of like a giant beaded necklace. And we're just going to tie a nice little bow on the end. Or at least try to. <laughs> we're going to attempt this. All right. And you might want to double knot your bow just so make sure that it doesn't come undone. 
gonna add just a little bit more bird seed. Make sure that those birds have something yummy. And there is my bird feeder. You can always cut off any extra ribbon that is uh, hanging off just as a safety precaution because we wanna keep our little feathered friends safe. Another option that you can also do if your child happens to be very sensory hesitant, where using their hands to touch new textures is challenging, you can always do the same thing. Get your empty toilet paper roll, spread the peanut butter with your butter knife, add your Cheerios or your bird seed, but instead of rolling the bird seed or the Cheerios on, you can put the bird seed or the Cheerios in this Ziploc bag that we have. Drop your roll in there and then just give it a lot of good shaking. And if you still wanna add a little on because maybe it's not quite sticking, you can just gently touch and pat it on with the bag. A lot of times kids who are cautious on the sensory side do very well, or at least a little bit better if there's a barrier like a plastic bag. Sometimes touching the texture when it's new or something they've had limited experience with can be very challenging. Once you're all done with your bird feeder, you can hang it up outside on your balcony or your patio or find a nice branch and the birds will hopefully come along and slowly start eating away. <laughs> if you have any leftover Cheerios or bird seed, feel free to make that into a sensory activity that you can have for the next few days. Let your child just kind of play and explore. I love to put these types of things, Cheerios or bird seed, in either a nice bucket like this that's deep so that if your child really gets into it and starts kind of squishing and flipping stuff around a little bit, it makes a little less of a mess. You can also do it outside because the weather is awesome right now. The other reason I like these containers is because you get a nice auditory input from it. So as your child is kind of using their feet or their hands and they're just exploring, you get a little play with sound, which is something I love to also do. If you find that touching the texture is just really challenging, but you do really wanna explore and allow your child to have that experience. I always recommend you start at the feet. A lot of times children can be more tolerant to new sensations and textures when it's on their feet first and just give them that time to get comfortable with it and explore it, talk to them about it. Hey, this bird seed is bumpy. Ooh, listen to that sound. And just make it the best thing ever. This is the best bird seed ever. <laughs> That's how I like to look at it. You know, you can sprinkle it on their toes once they're comfortable. And just let them have that time to explore. And maybe it'll take a couple of times of you taking out the bucket of bird seed or Cheerios before they're finally okay with using their hands. And that is totally fine. It's all about giving them opportunities and experiences and being very, very patient while providing tons of praise, big smiles, lots of songs, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments. If you have any suggestions, also feel free to post those in the comments. And I look forward to seeing pictures of what you guys create. Love to see any kind of pictures while you're making it or 
pictures of the finished product and definitely would love some nature pictures as we are all longing to get outside right about now. Hope you guys are having a great week and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.